Do you remember what the square root of a number means? Let's review the definition of square root. The square root of a given number is a number which multiplied by itself results in the given number. The square root of a given number is shown by this symbol with the number inside of it. This symbol is called the square root sign. So the square root of 4 is shown like this. As we said, the square root of a given number is a number which multiplied by itself results in the given number. 2 multiplied by itself is equal to 4. So the square root of 4, shown like this, is equal to 2. Here's a little example that illustrates what we can do with the square root. These two have gone to a builder's supply store and found a sheet of plywood they would like to build a deck with. One sheet is one meter long and one meter wide. They want to buy all the sheets that are available. They are told there are nine sheets of this in stock, so they agree to buy all nine of them to put them on the surface of the deck they build. The area of one sheet is one meter times one meter, which is equal to one meter squared, or one square meter. They have a total of nine sheets and each sheet has an area of one square meter. If they assemble these sheets to make a square deck, how long do you think each side of this deck will be? When these nine sheets are assembled into a deck surface, you can see the total area is nine square meters, which we'll show here. Because each sheet has a length of one meter, we see that the total length of this side of the deck is 3 meters. And because the length of each sheet is 1 meter, the total length of this side of the deck is also 3 meters. Because 3 times 3 is equal to 9, we can say the square root of 9 is equal to 3. So we have shown that the length of one side of a square is the square root of its total area. 3 is the square root of 9. To summarize, the length of one side of a square is equal to the square root of its area. We also know from before that the area of a square is equal to the length of one side squared. So the square root of 9 is equal to 3, and 3 squared is equal to 9. Looking at these two statements, we can say that they're opposites of each other. We can also say that the square root of 9 is equal to 3 because 3 squared is equal to 9. Or the square root of 16 is equal to 4 because 4 squared is equal to 16. Similarly, the square root of 81 is equal to 9 because 9 squared is equal to 81 and the square root of 144 is equal to 12, because 12 squared is equal to 144. So remember, finding the square root of a number is just the opposite of a number squared.